Hello fellas and uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, what you're looking at right now is a VESA mount uh, for a television. And basically um, what I'm going to be doing, uh, not at this particular moment in time, but what I'm actually going to be doing is mounting a 55 inch television in this location. Now I've seen a lot of YouTube videos etc online that um, basically state to find the studs, and that is absolutely correct, uh, with a stud finder, or you can use a hammer, or you can knock on the wall. Um, and when the, if the sound sounds hollow, then, then that means that there's no stud there. And if it sounds solid, um, then uh, that means you have a stud um, in, that, uh, in that spacing. Now, um, I'd recommend using a stud finder. Uh, the reason being is because a stud finder, if you get the correct one, can tell you if there are any electrical wiring, etc. Uh, behind the uh, wall paneling, whether, if you, whether you have paneling or um, uh, sheetrock or you know, drywall, etc. Um, you know. Uh, basically the stud finder if you get the correct one will tell you if there's any type of um, electrical wiring etc uh, live wires behind the paneling uh, which you cannot see okay so basically uh, a lot of uh, youtubers that I've watched have basically um, you know they're finding the studs and they're putting the wall mounts directly onto um, the wall and that is perfectly fine but um, there is one video that I watched where the guy is putting in um, I'm not exactly sure what they call them because I've never used them before um, but it's kind of it, it's um, housing that goes into the wall that expands and you screw the screw to that and you can't really tighten those uh the screws down in you know if you put it in drywall or whatnot because uh, they can strip out and uh, i don't find that to be a very ideal situation um nevertheless <clears throat> i have had a tv in this um, area before and um, of course you can see all the wires hanging etc the cables um now um the reason um I had to put this wall mount up instead of the one I had up was because uh, the mounting pattern for the particular TV is different than the previous model I had up. Now, um, unfortunately, I had an accident to happen to my last TV, which was a uh, Samsung Q70R. Um, I had an accident and uh, screen cracked on it, enough said. But um, nevertheless, um, the VESA mount that I um, used would not work on the new TV that I bought. The new TV that I bought, which hasn't come in yet, um, I bought it off of uh, Walmart.com yesterday. And it is a Hisense H8G. Um, it is supposed to be comparable to the... Uh, Samsung Q70R and many factors. I'm sure that there are going to be some factors that it's not comparable in. I won't know uh, any of this until I actually get the TV and um, which it should be delivered by tomorrow. And nevertheless, um, what I do when I mount uh, TVs on the wall and I'm sure that you've um, the viewer uh, whoever's view is going to be viewing this has seen this in businesses or schools or whatnot where you see a, a piece of wood on the wall and you can't figure out what they used it for well nine times out of ten it's they used it for a mounting uh, a television at some point in time because you used to be able to mount used to see uh, the big old housings for CRT TVs you know etc and and that's how they would do it they'd put a they'd put a, uh, a, a board up on the wall and then they would uh, fasten that board to studs on the wall and then uh, that would give you a lot of playroom when it comes to uh, mounting your VESA mount um, so then, um, or your TV bracket at the time, I mean, years ago, I mean, they were just huge, but, um, 
because uh, you know the old CRTVs, you'd have to have the whole bracket, you'd have to have the whole TV set in in a in a housing, and they took up a lot of space and they were extremely heavy. But um, nevertheless, um, this principle still stands when mounting uh, the newer TVs uh, to VESA mounts on the wall, whether you're using you know this type of bracket or uh, a swing arm or whatever. Um, or maybe one of the ones that, uh, you'll want that, uh, will, you know, go flush against the wall. But, uh, I particularly like these type of mounts because you can pull the TV out and you can hook up the cables, etc. And, uh, you ain't got to fight with the TV and you ain't got to have the risk of the TV falling and busting. So these, there are some benefits to, um these type of mounts also um you don't exactly have to have the mount perfect um as far as height and um etc because you're able for these type of mounts you have the ability to adjust the height on the bracket itself that's going to go on the tv now um with this said i'm going to zoom in with my uh, telephone a little bit closer and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and swing this out right here a little bit. So that way y'all can see. As y'all can see up in the right hand, uh, what well, left hand corner, sorry, you'll see a little screw. And that is where one of my studs are. And I've got four screws going all the way down. And they are in the stud there. And if you'll look on the right-hand side over there at the top, you'll see a screw as well. And that's going into the stud. And for me personally, since, um, you know, this is my place, this, asset, this, that, and the other, and I don't have to answer nobody, I just went ahead and screwed that. I, I drilled the hole and screwed it all the way through the window sill. Um, so it's not only being held by a stud, it's also being held by the metal a bracket that holds that one to seal in place as well um, and I've got you know four going down that side as well now the uh, studs are normally if um, if uh, y'all uh, want to know studs are normally 16 inches apart so uh, that should give y'all some reference point now um, I don't have this uh, wall mount entirely um, in place because I'm afraid I got to put another uh, three-quarter board under that one and actually put that to the wall because I'm thinking I might actually have to lower this wall mount uh, in the long run but uh, this is up just temporarily and uh, as y'all can see I've you know had holes for the previous wall mounts etc and uh, basically uh, my network switch that I had mounted right basically where the wall mount is now that you're seeing yeah, uh, wall mount now that you're actually seeing uh, which is this uh, switch right here I'm basically going to be mounting it about right there and what that's going to allow me to do is have a wired connection to my television etc uh, to my television, um, my Xbox, my DVD player, my Roku device, etc., etc., etc. Now that actually runs to a network hub that I actually have set up um, in a, another part of this house. Now, <clears throat> now, um, basically, another reason. Uh, I use a piece of wood to mount the VESA mounts too, is it makes it a lot more sturdier and it gives it a lot more strength than mounting it directly to a stud, especially if you're living in a trailer or whatnot where your trailer uses one by twos instead of two by fours, then you will need to preferably use this preference here. Now, um, I've Again, I've watched several YouTube videos, etc. And, uh, you know, I've heard s several YouTubers and I've watched several installation videos of VESA mounts. And they've all stated um, that it's optional that you pre-drill your holes for your, um, for your mount. 
And I'm going to have to disagree with that, fellas. And the reason I'm going to have to disagree with that is because if you try to put in a screw in a hole that's not pre-drilled um, or in a place that's not pre-drilled, sorry about that. But uh, if you try to do that, then you can actually crack the wood or in um, worst case scenario, actually crack the two before that or one by two that you're trying to screw into. And that could be real damaging to your wall system in, or into your load bearing system in your in your house. So uh, you definitely do not want that to happen. Now, um, over, you know right off the bat you ain't gonna notice no difference this that and the other but over time that will lead to an actual problem this is why it's my opinion that it's best to put up a piece of wood on the wall um when you know putting up a vez amount um you're also um, going to give it a lot more stability and a lot more strength as well so um so if you do have a weak vez amount, this, that, and the other, um, it, it'll give it a little bit more strength to the wall. But uh, please remember, fellas, when you're buying a vez amount, make sure you've got a adequate load rating. Uh, this vez amount right here, and I've actually been trying to figure this one out. I've actually been trying to figure this one out, fellas, but um, this vest amount right here is a own. I always thought the company was called AN, A-N-N, uh, A-N-N, not own, O-N-N, -N, but it's a Walmart brand, um, I believe. But um, this vest amount is rated for 100 pounds, and it's rated for 47 to 87 or 88, 80-something 80 inch televisions. Uh, with a with a mount pattern of um, 200 to 100 to 600 by 6, I believe. Uh, let's see. I'll um, I'll make the distinction um, in the uh, description. I'll, I'll uh, have that information in the description. But um, nevertheless, uh, what I don't get at and i know i'm rambling a little bit but uh, what i'm actually getting at is this particular vest amount cost me 50 bucks two days ago it was 30 at, at the same walmart that i shop at most most time at, at you know most of the time so i'm trying to figure out why it went up 20 dollars in two days uh that concerns me a little bit but um I can say this that um, this these arms, unlike some that you'll see, actually just have a latch that goes over them and it'll actually screw in place. That should keep the TV from coming out at the bottom and um, basically falling off for the most part. But uh, that's more or less it. I mean, I, I just wanted to make this quick video on the distinction on why to actually use a piece of wood um, on the wall for VESA, for wall mounting a VESA mount or wall mounting a TV. Now, I know someone's going to say, well, we rent, we can't do that, or uh, we, uh, we, we ain't got a piece of wood or whatnot. Well, um, you know, each each is own and uh, each scenario, each case is different. I understand that. But um, at the end of the day, um, for those who can, uh, you can go to Lowe's or Home Depot and you can buy, you know, a small a, a two foot board. Uh, the prices vary. The cheapest way to buy, you know, plywood is to buy it in four foot sections. But they do have um, the areas in the lumber department that do that do sell two by twos and uh, two foot by two foot and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so um, you can do that, and um, they and you can get them to cut it uh, to your specifications while you're there free of charge. So um, for those who are wondering, that is the easiest and in my opinion the safest way of uh wall mounting a tv so until next time fellas uh, peace out god bless and stay safe